Sunday's win in this segment is covered in Callahan on. Let's start with the pass rush. Four sacks in Detroit, followed up by four more sacks against New England. What has reignited the Titans pass rush, Brian? You know, I think uh, Big Jeff's playing uh, about as well as you could ask an interior lineman to play right now. He's affecting the rush lanes. He's affecting the quarterback. Um, and then, and then getting the quarterback on the ground and affecting him really is where Arden has stepped up. You know, we've seen Arden Key really make some key plays uh, over the course of the last two weeks. I'm um, going to get his hands on the quarterback and get the ball off the quarterback. And those have been uh, really two, two of the guys that have had a big impact in the pass rush uh, right now. And again, all those guys are playing well. Sebastian Joseph Day and Harold and, and Big Sweat. Those guys are all making plays uh, on the quarterback in the backfield, which is exactly what we need uh, for our defense to continue, to continue to play well. All right, after you had a chance to look at the tape, how do you evaluate the overall performance of the offensive line from Sunday? Um, really a pr impressive performance considering we had two, two other backups have to step in and play and they played at a high level for us between Danny Brunskill and uh, Corey Levin and those guys played well. We protected the quarterback well. We only gave up one sack um, and then we ran the ball with some authority and at the end of the game we had to have our best and we had to impose our will and we chewed up almost the entire overtime period uh, in the run game to go uh, take the lead in the game with the field goal was uh, really, really cool to see those guys. I mean, they're, they're getting better every week and um, it's a good unit right now. I think that the more they play together, the better off they're going to be. And uh, we're seeing the dividends from that in the run game and in our pass pro. One of the Titans captains and certainly the leader of the offensive line, Lloyd Cushenberry, injured, is out for a significant period of time, maybe the rest of the year. How will you replace Lloyd Cushenberry at center? Uh, heartbroken for Lloyd, first and foremost. I love everything he's been about. He's been a huge impact for us. Um, but we'll have to replace, you know, between between Dan Brunskill and uh, and Corey Levin. Those will be the two primary guys. Dan would slide in there as long as Dylan Radens is healthy. Um, and if Dylan is not healthy, then Corey will slide in the center and, and uh, Brunskill will continue his play at the right guard. So we had two contingency plans based on what we have available. Nick Westbrook Akine has been productive since he started getting more snaps at wide receiver. Why has NWI been so effective, Brian? Uh, he's a veteran player that knows uh, exactly what to do. He is always where he's supposed to be. And when the ball has come his way, he's made plays. And what that builds is trust and confidence from the quarterbacks, trust and confidence for me um, that we'll just keep throwing him the ball if he keeps catching it. And he ends up everywhere he's supposed to be in the pattern and uh, really impressed with what he's done so far for us. And he's been a big reason why we were able to win that game yesterday.